experiments done where they know the exact same, same thing. It's even mentioned in uh, Brown's uh, patent too. Um, also it mentioned in his patent too is that he used high voltage DC. Uh, he noticed that if he kept increasing the voltage more and more and more, the force uh, would go, would increase more and more and more, and then at a point it would stop and then reverse. And that's right in his patent. You can read it. And uh, that's very interesting. Uh, the force of reverse direction or just force of direction? Outer? There's a difference between reducing amplitude and reverse direction. No, reverse and direction. Well, that's a good point. Is I'm not sure. Well, I've had some of the universities. So yeah, I read that. Yeah, I yeah. fortunately I can't remember everything. I didn't. I don't mean to uh, painful, exclude uh, some painful. other people's results, but. Uh, but anyway, what's really interesting is that. We are still getting thrust, even with the bags around it, which, if there were ion wind, it should not do. We're interesting, and we're getting reverse direction on it, which is very interesting too, since we didn't reverse polarity. There were gaps here on the ground lecture that weren't quite covered, but so it's that is significant when it actually moved with the bags on it. Yes, that well, I think we can independently say that. Uh, yeah, I think they're right. The light goes brown apparatus. He has the, the disc being charged at a certain point. You go and charge it on the edge. No, no, it's exactly the way he has it in his patent. This is a. Uh, For what? Nearly as badly, because it was sparking through the tape. Yeah. Well, we're not sure if we blew the transistors, we blew the multiplier, we blew the backup multiplier. This is our original multiplier. That one's a new one, it's a little higher, more stages in a higher voltage, but this yeah, but at this, we're at this point we're running behind anyway. Yeah, so, so uh, we better just do the rest of the talk. I mean, actually, it's the same way he had it in his patent. So that was history in the making. Well, the high voltage N is also on the leading, is right here, and that's right. what he had. Now, there are lots of variations. Uh, Stephen here is 